So I just got my third property by house hacking in the past three years, which is absolutely crazy. And this is the most expensive one I have ever gotten, but it is also free. All right, so quick backstory for those of you who might not know. Um, so I got my first property when I was 20, two for about 190k it was a triplex i lived in one unit rented the other two out i bought it with a three and a half percent down loan so it was actually pretty cheap to get into i brought like six grand to closing because of some creative financing so i lived there for about a year and a half then i bought this property with a five percent down conventional loan so it was pretty cheap to get into and then i quit my job about a week after closing so i could focus on being a landlord i was running airbnb in this unit here and of course youtube pretty much full time so after we finally finished renovating here and sinking really our entire life savings into fixing this place up and buying it we were able to rent out our first apartment at our first house hack and start cash flowing about a thousand dollars a month from that first property and we've saved all of that towards our next down payment. So I've been living here for the past about a year and now I just closed on my third property and once I move out of this one uh, completely, I should make about $1,700 a month from this one. Uh, which will be important in just a second. So I'm so excited to tell you guys about this next property. I'm gonna be doing a house tour uh, probably next week. I'm already working on it. It's a single family with an attached dwelling. So there's a lot of ways to do house hacking. Uh, you can rent out rooms, you can do Airbnb like I've done before. You can buy multifamilies, you can do a live-in flip, a bunch of different ways to do this. So the way I'm doing it now is a single family with an attached dwelling. Since I quit my job last year and I don't really make a ton from YouTube, um, it's gonna take a couple of years to be able to approve for another loan from me. So this one's actually in my wife Meredith's name. Otherwise, if it was gonna be in my name, we probably would have had to wait at least another year. But she was able to do this at a 3% down loan, which is wicked cheap, and we got some money back towards closing. The first property that I got was 190,000, and then this one was 350,000, and then this next one is 450,000. Um, so it's definitely been a big step up in the sizes, the qualities, and, and everything. So this one's gonna be more of a place that we stay for a while, as opposed to these ones, which we strictly bought because we knew they were gonna be good investments and make us a lot of money every month as a long-term buy and hold investment. We've been really trying to get out of where we are now because it's not a great quality of living. Um, and we've been looking at a ton of different places and they're just selling so fast for way over asking price and it's just been really crazy. So we've been looking for something that um, was probably, we were looking at duplexes and triplexes mostly because you know we can't afford to pay a ton of money for our housing. And we just kind of ran through this house as an open house. We didn't think it would really be a possibility because of the price point. Um, but after we kind of walked through it, we saw what an amazing step up it would be and then also how we could be creative with it and actually have a lot of our expenses covered. So in total, I brought $15,000 to closing and I had $5,000 in escrow, but I was being the buyer's agent for myself, so I'm getting nine grand back, so that's about half of my closing costs. And then my first property made 12 grand last year, so that pretty much covers the other half of the down payment. So between these two, I got my, you know, like a free house, really. And it was only a 3% down. If it was 20% down, we would never have been able to do it. But since we're not gonna pay the mortgage ourselves, I'm okay with putting less down. If it was like an actual true single family that didn't bring in income, I would probably wanna save up until I could put more down as a down payment. But anyways, our side is a three bedroom, two bath property that has just been renovated over the past couple of years. So it's actually one of the first places we've moved into that doesn't need a complete overhaul. Then it also has another space that was used as a daycare back in the 80s and it's really because it has this additional dwelling unit that we were able to get this property and make it work. It's kind of hard to see because it's blown out but this is like the main part of the house here and then on this side is a two bedroom, one bath, actually really good size unit. It has its own private yard, there's a giant driveway. So this is pretty much a duplex in a single family neighborhood which gives you really high rents. Well technically we could cover the entire mortgage if we had to. For us, it's really important to not spend a lot on our housing and that's allowed me to leave my job and actually after we closed this, a couple days after we closed on this property, Meredith has quit her job. She put in her two weeks so neither of us will have a real job. We'll both be doing stuff but it's because it's stuff we want to do. So our mortgage payment is going to be around $3,000. That's mortgage, taxes, and insurance which is 
very scary as a 25 year old who doesn't have a real job. But because of the other unit, we can bring in about $1,800 to $2,000 uh, a month pretty conservatively. So that would leave us paying around $1,200 to $1,000 a month for a three bedroom, two bath, really nice house with a yard and a hot tub. Just for comparison in our city here, uh, if you wanted to get like a decent one bedroom apartment, you could probably expect to spend, you know, $1,200 if you wanted to be actually nice-ish or more than that probably. So instead of getting a one bedroom apartment, we're getting like a full house. So from the first property that we got, we cash flow about $1,000 a month. And then the second one that we just moved out of now that it's fully rented, we are cash flowing a little over $1,500 a month. So the two of those together is about $2,500 a month. That is a passive income. We still have to work uh, a little bit for that, obviously, but it is relatively passive income. So we're taking around $1,000 from that $2,500 and putting it towards our mortgage. So when you kind of look at it that way, we are still making $1,500 every month from those first two properties, plus living in this really nice house completely for free. It's been really cool to see how all the years of sacrifice, and I realize I'm only 25, but it did take a lot of work flipping that first place and living there in a small little apartment and then flipping two units at the next place and living there. And now finally being able to live in this place, which feels Un unbelievable it feels like I don't belong here it's such a nice place and it's been really cool uh, and it, it's just been amazing thank you guys for supporting me I really appreciate it it's because of house hacking and YouTube that I don't have a real job and Meredith was able to leave her job uh, and we're able to live this kind of lifestyle so I, I really appreciate it guys and if you enjoy this video if it inspired you share it with someone drop a like subscribe all that kind of stuff and I'll see you guys next week for the house tour